All right, we're gonna do a restaurant review here. I'm in Duluth, Minnesota, and we're going to a place called the Duluth Grill Family Dining, dining established in 1991. This place was featured on the TV show uh, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. Oh my! And um, it's supposed to be good. It's the third highest rated on TripAdvisor, and um, I think we might have some fish tacos. I'm going to have something light because uh, we're going to go to another place tonight and it's not going to be that long in the future. So anyway, we're in Duluth, Minnesota and uh, right across the border from Wisconsin on Lake Superior, pretty close to Lake Superior. And uh, let's check it out, shall we? All right. We're at the Duluth Grill. It's on 27th Avenue, just off of Highway 35. And a small little place, at least it looks like it. We're going to check it out. Let's go. That is the show. Diners, drive-ins, and dives. All right, here is a shot from inside the Duluth Grill. I'm in a corner, and um, all of the waitresses and waiters are wearing uh, the same shirt, which says "Veggies fresh from our parking lot." That is our waitress. No, it's not. That's our waitress. And um, apparently there is a parking lot garden somewhere here where they have all of their vegetables. So we're going to try to find that if we can. But anyway, here's a shot of the, where we're sitting. Here is the menu. Fresh, local, organic. The address. Website. They have breakfasts. They have skillets. They have porridge, scotch eggs, pancakes, omelets, roasted duck omelet. They have a lot of uh, unusual things. They have something called the Healthy Elvis, homemade peanut butter with organic banana smoothie. They have burritos, hummus, ratatouille. They have gluten-free stuff, bison stuff, Anaheim peppers. They have sandwiches, BLTs. I am getting the superior fish sandwich. I almost got the gyro, which is not like a traditional gyro. It's a gyro still on the bone. They have stuffed pepper tacos. They have fish tacos. They have pork chop on a stick. They have big burgers. Uh, Bicepeno pepper burger, a duck burger, garlic gouda, turkey, Asian peanuts. They have big salads, smoked salmon salad. They have appetizers, homemade onion rings, lettuce wraps. They have a lot of stuff here. Pasty, pasty, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. They have lasagna. There are the fish tacos, which you're also getting. Braised lamb shake. There is the pork chop on a stick. Hot roast dinner. There is the history of the Duluth Grill. They have a dessert and drink menu. Cakes. They have pumpkin spice cake. They have homemade pies. They have avocado, avocado coconut sorbet. They have a when pigs fly bacon sundae, which has got smoked bacon on it. Yes, you read that right, smoked bacon. They have something called Beet lemonade, organic beets juiced and blended with natural lemonade. I can't imagine. They have juice, they have soda, they have iced tea, and they have coffee. And smoothies, of course, including the healthy Elvis. All right, we're on outside in the parking lot. I believe this is what's the garden for the Duluth Grill. There's certainly stuff planted there. Although, yeah. There you go. I guess that's where they get their fresh vegetables. Alright, our food came very fast. Uh, those are the uh, fish tacos and uh, 
a cucumber dip, which I asked for. This is my fish sandwich. Uh, I asked for extra tartar sauce and she brought it. And fries. So there you go. Our waitress's name is Alyssa. All right, here's the bathrooms. Pretty small. They are clean though. Oh, I'm sorry. Alright, we also have some liquid aminos, all purpose seasoning, natural soy alternative, and pick a pepper sauce. Product of the Pick a Pepper Company, Jamaica. Or is that Jamaica, Wisconsin? I don't know. Alright, since I've never seen a spray sauce in a restaurant before, we have to try it. So, even though it's a french fry, we're going to spray it. It's definitely soy sauce, wow. Here is the bill. You can see our server was in fact Alyssa. And our bill came to $24.67. We did not get any soda, so it was just 13 bucks for the tacos. $9.50 for the fish sandwich. And there you go. We please pay our server, so let's do that. Okay, just got out of the Duluth Grill. I'm still in the parking lot. I uh, just finished eating. Um, and uh, I enjoyed my meal. Um, it was extremely fast for a sit-down uh, type place with menus. Um, yeah, it was very fast. Obviously, we both had deep fried stuff, so it's not going to take very long, but... Uh, uh, it was quick, so I got no complaints there. I have no complaints really at all. The fish sandwich was good. It was you know, typical fish sandwich, but it was it was tasty. The fries were pretty good, although I wasn't overly hungry, so I didn't eat them all. Um, I asked for extra tartar sauce, and she remembered to bring it out. A lot of waitresses waiters forget to bring extra tartar sauce, but uh, she got it. Alyssa, good job. Um, I also, because I was going to get a gyro originally, and um, uh, my fiancé wanted cucumber sauce. Um, but I changed my mind, got the fish sandwich instead, and I asked her if she could bring the cucumber sauce anyway, and she did. So, good job, Alyssa. I had one bite of the fish taco. Uh, not a huge fan of all the vegetable type stuff that goes on a fish taco, so um, that was okay. But then I had one little piece of the fish, uh, which was good, which I dipped in the tartar sauce, too. Um, you may have noticed I ran into a little problem in the bathroom. Uh, unbeknownst to me, there was somebody sitting in the stall. And I uh, found out later it was uh, an employee uh, of the place, because when he did come out, he, it was odd. He came out, and then he went and grabbed a mop and went back into the stall, or at least back into the bathroom. So I don't know if uh, he noticed a mess somewhere, or perhaps he made a mess somewhere. I don't know. It's a mystery. Um, we're not going to even think about that. But, yeah, he didn't lock the stall, and he must have thought I was an idiot as I'm sitting here talking about how the bathrooms are clean, <laughs> talking to myself, and all of a sudden the stall opens. Now, in my defense, I did check the stall when I first walked in to make sure it was unlocked, which was my assumption that there was nobody there, but there was. He didn't lock it, so um, you only saw his hand. So I was going to go back in there and redo it again, but I thought, ah, whatever. Um, but anyway, I, I enjoyed my experience at the Duluth Grill. Um, I'd like to come back here when I'm hungrier again. They have a lot of kind of eclectic odd items on the menu and um, I would like to try some more of them so who knows when I'll be back in Duluth Minnesota again but if I do I have no problem coming back to the Duluth Grill and um, Alyssa was good did you say Alyssa was good yeah it's unanimous good job Alyssa um, the Duluth Grill check it out bye